Okay, so I'm going to just show you how to fade out these edges. So if you're trying to do something like a double exposure, uh, which I've just done by turning down the transparency, obviously you can play around with that a little bit later on. Um, so already that's taken out some of the harshness of the lines. But what you want to do, and you can do this on Photoshop as well using the rubber tool, um, but here on Pixel X, it's using the cutout here and then the draw cutout. And then it gives you a brush tool, and this is just like using the eraser, but a lot of the time people might use the eraser um, just like with a harsh line. And you don't want to do that, you want to make it have a soft line. So make that as soft as possible or as soft as you need for this. Um, and the bigger the size, the bigger that feathering is going to go out, so the softer it's going to be. I'm going to start just with that to start with, and then we're just going to go along these edges first, because we might find that that's enough, but then we might have to do a little bit more blending afterwards. Ah, I just realised what I'm doing. I'm on the keep option and I want to be on remove, so it's actually adding something. I suppose you could do it like that as well. You could start with a smaller part of the image and then add on from there. But that's a good, let's say I do go a little bit wrong. I can then go on keep and add that back in. So actually you might want to play around. But you can see it's got a little bit of a wobbly line now. So I'm going to want to make that a little bit bigger and really just kind of almost dot it on a little bit. It's hard to tell what's the line here and what's just because there's a hand there. But you want to make sure there's nothing else around this area. Some of it's just where it's just the hand and then that's it really and you can just go on here and you could obviously play around with this transparency some more so if I didn't have any transparency that's essentially how I've really blurred that edge out which isn't bad and then just to um, obviously get that double exposure effect with the hand coming through you could pull that back as much as you like and that's basically it.